Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nilesh Ralgi and you're watching Techie Programmer. So today in this video, we are going to just continue the old video that is building a Zoom bot. So specifically in this video, we are going to concentrate on building GUI for that particular previous video. So I suggest you to check out that video if you have not yet checked it out. So because it is kind of a skeleton to this video because it has all the core functionality, how the things work. So uh, let's move on and in this video, we are going to build a GUI to our previous video and let us look at the trailer, then we will get into the movie. So just check it out. Okay, so this is the GUI that I was talking about here in what we can do is we can just add a link, then the time, uh, so time here is 12, 14. So let me just make it to 16. Okay, now let me select the weekday. Let we select every day at my uh, meeting at uh, meeting every day at 12 16 makes sense let me just paste uh, the meeting link and let me just say at 12 12 let me just say at one o'clock so 01 uh 130 maybe okay this time format is in 24 hours so make sure whenever you are writing the time format it should be in 24 hours and what you can do is you can even select the other Tuesday, for example, here, and you can see this. Let me show you one more thing, uh, one more beautiful thing, actually. That is, if you try to enter a wrong time system, it says invalid time. So this is kind of an error handled base system. So you do not need to worry about. So let me just wait for a minute so that it's 12.15 right now. The meeting is at 12.16. So let's see if the things works properly so that we can move and continue. I have tested this, this should work. Just wait a second. Okay, so we can see it just popped up, hands up here. Okay, so now it is connecting. And we can see that, okay, it just says, let me admit here. Yeah, I just admitted from my mobile phone here. And we are into the meeting with the mic muted and the video is muted so this is how or this is what we are going to build right now so let's move on to the video let's continue i hope you really enjoyed the mini trailer of what the zoom bot i mean the gui we are going to build yes uh, so let us talk about the libraries that we are going to use here in order to build the gui we are going to make use of or tkinter and yes even this complete project is based on python and we are going to use this uh, tkinter module in order to build the gui well uh, the tkinter is not that beautiful and that attractive but still we can you can just see in the trailer that we managed to do it kind of a little bit of beauty I mean, we can we were able to add a little bit of beauty. So I will be telling you how I did manage to do that. So you'll be understanding how to build such beautiful GUIs for your projects. And later you can just understand how the things in the Tkinter works. So that's it for now for Tkinter. Let's talk about the features of this particular Zoom bot. So what we are going to do or what are the features for this? First of all, you will be entering the link, then you will be entering the time, and then you will be selecting the weekday that your bot should be active or should attend the class for you. And as soon as you hit on the schedule button, it's you will be having a kind of a text editor on the right side, which uh, schedules meeting for you. And you can just see all the, mid, the meetings that you have scheduled. So in this particular GUI, we will be able to like, schedule multiple number of meetings and one more thing what how this bot works is you start the script you enter the data everything and just hit run i mean whenever you schedule it just automatically runs in a loop and you just need to make sure that you do not close that particular window but here's a suggestion what you can do is uh, you can create a thread and keep it running parallelly and then you can just close it so it is just that it runs in that particular thread and it's completely anonymous i mean it's out of the computer's computer system so this is just as a, this was just a suggestion you can take it or leave it but still uh, the thing that we are going to show in this video will be just how to build that particular bot so let's move on to the code and let's move on to the screen uh, and let's understand the building of this gui so finally we are going to go through the code 
so let me just talk about what we are doing here one is the importing the web browser you can do it import web browser this is the schedule library and i hope you know how to install the libraries if you don't know what you need to do is just go here and uh, for example if i want to install a schedule library so i will just type pip install then the library name for example schedule is a library so s c h e d u l e and hit enter so this is how you install the library so you can see requirement already satisfied because i have already installed everything and let's talk about threading threading is a built-in module so you do not need to install some anything externally and time even time is installed pre-installed the tginter library for gui is also pre-installed in that and this is just um what you can say taking from tginter yeah so it's kind of extension tginter.ttk import combo box that we are going to use that is the weekday let me just run this so that i can explain you along with the gui okay so let me place the gui here let me minimize this window here okay the gui is here so this is the entry box this is entry box this is a combo box and this is a text edit i mean the text view so now uh, this is a class for zoom or gui and this is an init function which has a title the name the we are creating the root window then we are going to set that name title name to that and then uh, this geometry whatever the gui size is it's 600 x 500 and then min size and max size is set so that you cannot resize the window and then we have a main background so pretty as i said this tginter stuff isn't actually beautiful but we are going to manage it to make it beautiful so that is what i mean when i was saying that uh, whenever you get this file um, you will be having this assets folder here assets has a background image can you, you can see that on the screen so this is actually the image which is just an image created in an illustration so here we have whatever the plans we have in the brain is just an image here so i'm going to add a meeting link here a time link here and the weekday combo box here and a text box here and a schedule button will be here so a separate schedule button with a shadow drop has been designed and it is just that we are going to use those images in the background and the foreground to make it look beautiful so that is the reason that uh, is the reason that why our zoom bot the automation stuff is looking beautiful or else there is no other way is that we can do this so uh okay so now what we will doing be doing here is this is the assets folder and this is the main file so we are going to set the background image and then we have the image for the button so in order to add the images on the button we are, what we are going to use is we are going to use a photo image then we are going to mention the file name and here we have button the canvas is to draw okay search dot window width and height and canvas that pack that is we are going to draw that background on our canvas and then we are going to pack it completely then okay so that is basic stuff that we are going to do in the background then number of meetings so as we are importing threading here you can see so because of multiple number of uh, meetings here we are going to thread them multiple times the number of meetings the number of threads so what we are going to do here is uh, the number of meetings this is the meetings uh, we can say directory which has meeting number one with this this is so the, that is the data that is going to store by this meeting dictionary and then show errors so that is going to handle the errors that are when going to show for example the errors that we saw for the time okay so next uh, we have the schedule meeting so this is what we had now we had a combo box right uh, it said every day monday tuesday wednesday okay so uh, that has a particular function call that is if you have watched the previous video you might be aware of this statement that is schedule every monday at the time that we pass and do web browser dot open in a new tab what you need to do is open a link so this is how it does that is uh, based on the if else condition we are managing that every day monday tuesday wednesday thursday whatever we had planned for and then we have a function called schedule uh, that is what it does is it tries to 
to this, then accept it passes. Then what it does is it gets the link. Okay, so we have the entry boxes uh, as I showed you in the assets. Let me just run this again. No, I can have it here. Okay, so these are all the entry box. These two are the entry box. So it is, you can see here. So this is kind of a error handling stuff um, to check if the it is in hours, whatever, just a kind of conditions. Then, yeah, so this is uh, the text box. Okay, okay, and here you can see invalid meeting link. Okay, so if the meeting link is not valid, it shows that it is an invalid meeting link, and else it shows an invalid time. Uh, and if the time format is wrong, then it shows the, the invalid time. And then uh, we're talking about the home screen. So this is the entry box with Arial font of 14. That is the entry box that we had seen. And we have a time that is even, again, the time is an entry box, which we enter in the format of the numbers, colon, and the number. Uh, that is the hours, colon, minute. So R hours, colon, minute, minute. So once done with that, we will be having a combo box that is just like a scroll down one by one. So we will be having we will be having those particular functions like every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and based on whatever we call here, we'll be reflecting. I mean, we will be calling this particular scheduled meeting kind of function. So from there, we will be extracting exactly the schedule every whatever we are calling. So if the condition is that, it does that particular, I mean, it calls that particular function for that particular meeting. So once done with that, we are here and then we are going to schedule the meeting and then we are going to add it to the dictionary, other empty dictionary that we had created and we are going to continue. I mean, uh, we are going to keep on scheduling that is kind of a loop condition here. And then, uh, yeah, this is the placement of the whatever the widgets we had created that is the entry boxes and the combo box so we are going to place them this placement is kind of a based on the pixel density or the pixels that we have on our screen uh, sometimes it might a little bit get messy but what you can do is you can just play around with these numbers that is x y okay and it should make sure that it comes on the particular place so uh, when it's done this, this is a scheduler. Scheduler, what it does is just make sure that the thing is continuously running around, in the running continuously running. And yeah, this is kind of a true function that we call it as if underscore underscore name is equal underscore equals equals to underscore underscore main. So that is something uh, kind of a main function in Python and it will be executed if this conditions condition will be true. So it will be calling the GUI with zoom automation then it's going to thread thread uh, just basically what it does is whatever the work you assign it just divides it into the multiple number of threads so that is how threading works so thread what it does is take the scheduler and d1 equals to true uh, d1 equals to true is something like uh, whenever you close this function or close this particular application it terminates all the threads related to, related to this particular application if it is false then what it does is it runs in the background something like that and then uh, we are going to start the thread and then gui window dot main loop that is keep looping the particular image or particular application on the screen so this is the code and this is a tweak that we managed to do to, in order to get a beautiful ui to this particular application and I will be zipping up this and the code for this or the password for this is techie programmer one two three. You can just type techie all small case techie programmer one two three and it should extract on your folder. So I hope the, this was this thing was really helpful. Let me just run this for you again and let's see the final one thing. Command V. Okay, and um, let me just schedule it at 28 and let's set it to everyday schedule. So this, let's wait for a minute. Okay, just you can just see it popped up. I think we can even close the window at this particular moment. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it says connecting. Let's wait for a while. Okay, let me admit it here.
and you can see that we are on the meeting so one more thing that i would like to add up if you have not yet seen that previous video there are two things that you need to do one thing is open up the zoom app okay and go to the settings and go to the audio go down and just make sure you check mark these two particular things automatically join the audio by computer when joining a meeting and mute my microphone when joining a meeting so make sure you just check double check this two points and one more thing that we can do is uh, whenever you run that bot and whenever it opens the google chrome uh, you will be having a pop-up there uh, which says always allow just make sure you check mark that particular there you can just check that out in the previous video i have mentioned that step completely uh, but still if you are just continuing with this video uh, you just make sure that you tap on that particular uh, pop-up and make sure you open it as always so it directly opens the or triggers the application so that is it for this video and I hope you uh, really loved this video and if you want such more content uh, on this channel make sure you hit like share and subscribe and if you have some suggestion that you want to add it up to the list you can just comment down and if you have some projects that you have built and you want it to be presented on or reviewed on this channel even then you can contact me from the comment section itself and I would really appreciate if I this video gets more than 100 likes and if you're liking it please make sure you comment something that helps me to grow and that's it for today see you in the next video until then take care and bye bye